These are the most amazing glow up transformations ever! In this video, you're gonna see Mommy Longlegs from Poppy Playtime turn into a human! Encanto characters becoming models and then... Oh yeah, turning into zombies! And then you're even gonna see the secrets of how the turning red characters got rich! Watch to the very end of today's video if you want to get rich yourself! Whoa! Good luck! Today, we're gonna be looking at Encanto characters glowing up into zombies! Here is our beauty queen Isabella, and she's dangling from a grapevine, I see! Wow! What are they doing to her eyes? And why are they dripping? Ew! Is that slime? Or toxic waste? Or maybe just maple syrup? <laughs> No, mm. neither. Wow, Isabella, I, I know you like flowers and stuff, but I think you got something growing from your head. I don't know if you're turning into a tree or a reindeer. Whoa, whoa, what's happened to her arm and why does it look like she spilled a lot of ketchup on there? And on her neck, too? Oh, man, family, this don't look too good. This is gonna be the craziest Encanto transformation we've ever seen. Holy, she has a hole in her stomach. Her stomach is literally holy. You know? Okay, they're just changing her shoes like that. But what is happening to her leg? It looks like she has a giant snake going down it. Okay, her dress still looks pretty with the flowers on it. No, they just erased the pretty flowers. Oh, here's the final transformation. Here it is. Wow! <gasps> that looks crazy. And yep, that's definitely a zombie. Still pretty cute. Oh, but still a zombie. Where do y'all think she's swinging to? The set of Walking Dead? <laughs> I give this transformation a 8.5 out of 10 because I'm scared. And no, family, I'm not going to open my eyes. Thank you. I'm good. Camilla. Hey, dude. And why do you even need a glow up anyways? You can literally shape shift into anything you want. Kind of greedy if you ask me. Oh, what did they do to your hair? <laughs> And your eyebrows are gone, too! And might I say they added a bunch of face powder on your face? You kind of got a little bit of mummy vibes going on, not gonna lie. And a very creepy smile. Ugh. I don't like it. Okay, they are going in on that makeup. They're not holding back at all. Did they just crack his... You know? Because he went from straight to in about two seconds. Bye, Poncho! Hello, nice black suit? Wow, they even made it shiny! Okay, the more I look at him, the more I think he's just getting ready for a fancy wedding. Makeup done, nice suit, even got the claws done. You got a wedding or auditioning for the role of Catwoman. Those claws can kill. What the? Now they're taking chunks out of his suit. <gasps> oh, I think here's where the zombie part comes in. Wait a second, that don't look like no zombie. They turned Camillo into a haunted doll. With the strength that they can control him any way they want to. Oh, this is getting dark. That's scary. Mama, who let me watch these things? Oh, wait, that was me. I think my mom should take away my computer. Because I don't think I can be trusted. Camillo gets a 7 out of 10 because I don't trust him. Huggy Wuggy! What are you doing here, bro? I mean, I'm kind of happy to see ya. Did you see the new toy in Poppy Playtime? She's a spider huggy and... She ain't up to no good. Wow! What are they doing to... Huggy's... Mouth! It's even bigger than before! And a bigger mouth only means one thing! Well, actually, two things. More sharp teeth to bite humans with and... More space to fill chicken nuggets! That's not even a regular shape of a mouth! Huggy Wuggy has three mouths in one! And why does he have red patches on his fur? That's not a patch! That's another mouth! How many kids is he planning on eating? Huggy Wuggy saw one look at that Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 trailer and was like, who does this mommy long legs think she is? There's only room for one monster in this town. So I'm gonna show you who the real boss is. What happened to Huggy Wuggy's arms? He has a claw and a pickaxe? Oh my. <gasps> Huggy, this ain't you. You're supposed to be cute and cuddly. Not mean and bloody. I give this a 5 out 
out of 10 because I'm mad at Huggy for changing and also because he pretty much looks like a spider now. So he's copying mommy long legs. Kind of savage if you ask me. What the heck? First Huggy and now Luca? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and apparently has a carrot on top of his head. That is bright. Kind of like it though. What in the chicken nugget are they putting on his neck? That looks like something people put inside of their coffee machines. Or the bottom of my grandma's skirt. Wait, are they actually putting a skirt on him? Oh, okay. That I don't think that's a skirt family. I think that's a prison outfit. Wait, why are they putting three red dots on there? I feel like I've seen something with three red dots and a white coat before, but I... <gasps> They're turning Luca into a clown! Is he gonna be an evil clown? Because I don't even like clowns to begin with, and if you're gonna make them even worse by making them scary, then... I don't wanna see it! Ah, look what he's holding! Oh no, this is not good. Why is he holding that in one hand and a red balloon in the other? And now they're putting on clown makeup on his face? Luca's starting to not really look like Luca anymore. He's starting to look like, uh... What's his name? Uh, I know it, I know it. Most definitely is. They turned Luca into Pennywise. But I have to say, he kind of looks better than the original. I give this one a 9.5 out of 10. Because I really like Luca and think he's a cool dude, but I hate clowns. Especially that one. It's Mirabelle! I've been waiting on video for her. Oh, she's so cute. Whoa, what are they doing to her eyes? And why are they making them so dark? With tomato sauce on her face? Uh, what's going on there, Mirabelle? Are you hurt or did you, uh, just get in a fight with a pizza? Her bottom lip is gone! Mirabelle, how are you gonna eat that pizza now, girl? And now your left arm looks like a broken chicken wing. You do not have good luck, my friend. And you're also dripping that tomato sauce everywhere. Not only are you unlucky, you're all so messy. Wait, what is that in your hand? Ow! No! I think y'all know what that is, family! Mirabelle is holding a brain! Okay, let's see the reveal. <gasps> what happened to her legs? Oh! She's like a broken chicken drumstick! She was so close to being in our chicken nugget family, but... We don't accept raw meat! That's just nasty. And why are you holding a brain, girl? You're smart enough just the way you are. You don't gotta steal somebody else's. And how do you even know that that's a human brain and not some random animals? Maybe that's the brain of a sloth and you have no idea. Yeah, sorry, girl. You got scammed. Mirabelle gets an 8 out of 10. And to be honest, I feel like I'm being very generous with that. Because might I remind you? She literally stole somebody's brain. Girl, you are twisted. Today we're doing a glow up video. Poppy playtime version. She's falling. <laughs> Mommy Long Lake saved her. Thank you. Aww. I tell you not to scare grass. <laughs> Family, our first glow up transformation is of Mommy Long Legs. And these glow up transformations are super cool because they're shown in the form of a story. Let's keep watching. Family, comment ta da as the secret word of today's video. And I'll heart to comment. Oh, Mommy Long Legs made a new friend. <laughs> uh, we They're watching an anime. Monster. I will always not yeah. be pretty. I'm what? No, Mommy Long Legs, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, she's getting a makeover right now. Here's the glow up. Whoa. She just got on really pretty clothes. She's already happier. Look at her smile. Okay. Oh. What is that? Oh! Look at Mommy Long Legs' hair! It's not squaggly oh. like noodles anymore! Oh. And she even has a cute little heart hair clip! Oh, I love it! Huh? No! No, 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 no! Stop it! Look how beautiful she looks! 
mean, she was already beautiful before, but now she's beautiful. Plus, she doesn't look like a spider. That is always a bonus. Unless you're trying to be Spider-Man or something. But I don't think Mommy Longlegs is no hero. She's the opposite. A villain. What is that bird? Is that the bird from Harry Potter? Why is the bird have fire in his eyes? What's going on? <laughs> Mommy Longlegs got burnt by the Harry Potter bird! How rude! Poor Mommy Longlegs is crying! She just had her glow up transformation and now it's ruined! She's like a burnt hot dog on the barbecue that nobody wants to eat! Except maybe my weird Uncle Larry because he'll like eat anything. He'll even eat the dirt off the ground if you tell him that it's deep fried. Goo 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 goo! Raining now? It took her burntness away! But now she's super pale and looks like a ghost. We got a magic bell? New glow up transformation again? Maybe? What is that? Whoa! Mommy Long Legs! This is the coolest glow up transformation I've ever seen! She's so adorable! <laughs> and I think Huggy Wuggy likes it! The next glow up transformation's Poppy! But I'll see her anywhere! There she is! What's wrong with you? I'm too ugly to go to the party. What? No, Poppy! You're beautiful! <laughs> Poppy's all sad. <laughs> now she's a little happier because she put on some makeup. Oh, look at that bug. <laughs> Poppy's scared of the slithering buggy thing. I don't know what it is. Wait, now she's smelling some nice flowers? Are they gonna use the flowers as perfume? Did that bug just eat a part of her face? Oh, uh, cause her face looks like it's a different shape now. No, 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 they're cutting Poppy's bows out of her hair! No, Poppy! Are they gonna make Poppy go bald? Oh, they're just brushing her hair. <gasps> I just took out a chunk of her hair. Oh! I know Poppy went bald. This isn't a glow up transformation. It's a glow down. Is that a magic fairy? Wait, 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 magic fairy. We need to have a wish. Magic Fairy, I wish for Poppy Playtime to grow her hair back. <laughs> no! Wait a second! It worked! Family, we just wished on a Magic Fairy! And at first I thought they were trying to burn Poppy's head to the ground. But somehow all of that fire gave her a beautiful head of golden fiery hair. Either that or a lot of ketchup's dripping down her face. But I think it's hair. Hopefully. <laughs> She's so happy now. Oh, Poppy, I'm so happy for you. <gasps> She just got beautiful big blue eyes and new blue ribbons. Poppy glowed up into a magical princess. Oh, that's so magical. But hopefully she's a happy princess and not one of those princesses who gets locked up into a high tower and never gets to come out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> A squid game doll! Catch her now! <gasps> Help me! Oh, what happened, squid game doll? Why is everyone running after you? Okay! Squid game doll got all messed up from everybody chasing her. And now she wants to go up into a. Bratz doll, maybe? Or an anime character. Might have a lot of work to do. Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy! Okay. Wait, why is she pointing at Huggy Wuggy? Is that her favorite character from Poppy Playtime? 
What? Oh! I just took off all the Squid Game doll's hair! And that's the inside of her head! They're trying to change around the things in her head so they can glow her up into the doll? Three different color brains and only one to pick. Hmm. Blue, yellow, or red. Hmm. What do you think, family? Comment down below. I think each different brain turns her into a different person. Ugh. Uh huh. She picked the blue one. <laughs> oh no, and now the brain Ooh. friends have to say goodbye to each other. They're sad. They just put in the blue brain inside a Squid Game doll. What's gonna happen? Ugh! Oh! <laughs> no! Squid Game doll just glowed up into Huggy Wuggy! How is that possible? Oh, there's all the people looking for Squid Game doll. Where are you, Squid Game doll? They're mad. <laughs> Huggy Wuggy just scared them all away! And they don't even know that Squid Game doll is Huggy Wuggy! So they'll never find her! Dang, girl! That is the ultimate move for hide and go seek! I'ma write that down for next time. Or maybe I'll just keep hiding in the cookie cabinet like I always do. And I get to play games and eat cookies! This next one, family! You have to guess who it is! Uh, why is she running? Watch out! You just hit the wall! Oh, that one's gotta hurt. Oh! It's Moondrop! Run! Faster! He just changed! Wait, it's Moondrop! 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 <laughs> Ooh, Sundrop ain't too happy about that. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, why is Sundrop covering his nose? Does he not like his nose? Is he embarrassed? Oh, the girl has an idea. Sundrop is about to get a glow up makeover with a bubble gum machine? What? What's the blue ball gonna do? <laughs> Splash water on her face. <gasps> Whoa! Sundrop looks so pretty without a mask on! Is Sundrop a girl or a guy? Sundrop is wearing makeup! Gave her a nice glow, if you know what I mean. You know, because she's the sun. And the sun glows! Come on, family, keep up with the jokes. Let's see what else they can do for her. Ooh, a yellow magic ball. What's that gonna do? Sundrop got a hair transplant? Look at her hair, it's just like a princess! She looks just like a gypsy! Oh, Moondrop is back! And now Moondrop looks like an anime character! Whoa! Those transformations were very epic. Some of my favorites so far. But I think you're gonna like the next one even more. Huh? It's May Lee's mom from Turning Red. Who's in the door? Knock, knock, open. Ah! Ew! It's a gross bug. Who is that doing in the room? It's the turning red panda! Baby, huh? 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 what happened? Mom, I was feeding my eyes. Oh! oh so itchy. <laughs> May Lee, girl! I get you turned into a panda, but that don't mean you gotta take the whole forest back to the house with you! Bugs are for the outside, not the inside of your body! Ooh! Oh, she is itchy. <laughs> May May's mom took her in a garbage bag to the hospital. <laughs> She's a magnifying glass. Oh, it's lice! 
Maybe got a glow up with her fur, but it wasn't a new hairdo. It was getting lice. Oh my god, this is tragic. Family, what do we do? Comment down below if you know what to do because I have no idea. And they're eating dinner of... What are they eating? Their dinner is the red panda's fur! Oh, they took away their dinner table! And now they're gonna try and take away the bugs! Oh! Oh! They got something that looks a little bit more dangerous than bug spray! Three, two, one! What the heck? That didn't work either! Maybe these bugs are just gonna live in her hair forever! Oh no, and it even looks like they're getting stronger now, too! Wow! <laughs> He's a policeman? And he tied up the other butt lice? He's tying up all of them! Wait, maybe he's a good guy, Lice Man. He got rid of all the bad guy lice. Thank Ooh. you. You see, all May May needed was a special soap and a police officer lice bug thing. Hmm. Why is he still scratching? Oh! <laughs> What happened to you? I can help you? You're all gross and dirty again. Did you not learn from the last time when you got nice? A magical Pokeball? Squirtle! Oh, Squirtle is so nice. He washed Mimi. Now she's all clean. Ooh! And now her hair looks all nice! Nice and fluffy! Puff up the cheeks! Turn into a new person! Maybe it looks awesome! And they even made her hair all shiny and gave her new glasses! She is mwah, mwah, beautiful! Just remember to keep taking showers, May May, because nobody likes you when you're stinky. <clears throat> yeah. Family, today we're getting a glow up transformation. May May! With a Canadian shirt! I'm so proud, girl. Oh, apparently, she's getting her hair all chopped off. Uh, girl, you sure you okay with that? Just kidding, May May. You can pull off anything! Well, maybe except looking like a panda. Family, watch to the end of today's episode for secret footage of the characters from Encanto and Turning Red singing together. Our concert of Shh! It's our secret. Watch to the end. Is that a Louis Vuitton scarf on her head? Oh my, and very long earrings. That looks like a giant red chain. Or hair braided through her ears? Huh? Oh, I think that's just her new hairstyle. Okay, we're changing the top, but please keep the Canadian flag now. It's gone. <gasps> but she got a Gucci sweater instead. Okay, fine. I guess that'll do. And Nike kicks. Okay. Maybe May May's not just turning rich. She's turning into a sports superstar, too. She look like she about to play some basketball. Family, comment down below. Rich Panda has the secret word of today's video. And you're gonna turn rich yourself. I think. I hope. And I'll heart your comment. What are they putting in her hand? A skipping rope? A giant red brick? What is she doing? Gonna go build a new house? Oh, it actually says Supreme on it. Dang, girl. Those are some expensive bricks. Wait, why do her eyes look a little bit meaner? Maymay don't look too nice anymore. Is that what happens when you turn rich? You go from being cute and nice to mean and spooky. Oh, she got new earrings. What does that say? Boss? Okay. <gasps> Is that money coming out of the Supreme things? Whoa, look at Maymay. 
Maria. She used to give off cute and innocent, but now she's giving off boss babe and ready for business. And maybe she can shoot her business over our way. Because I'm trying to catch some of those $20 bills. I want to be rich too. I give this one an 8 out of 10. I love that it's Canadian inspired, but she also kind of scares me. Ooh. And what fun would it be being rich if your best friends aren't rich beside you? Wait, is she wearing a swimsuit? <gasps> Ooh, a pretty white dress! Wait a minute. Priya, you're not getting married now, are you? You're only like 13 years old! That's too young! Whoa, but your dress is so pretty that... Maybe it's worth it. Oh, we're adding sparkly sleeves. That kind of looks like a lot of snowflakes on the ground. Or maybe a lot of donut powder. Mmm. And a Louis Vuitton top. Holy, we're getting fancy. And of course, you need to add the blingy bling with the Chanel golden rope. Is that a belt or a rope to tie her husband around with? Gotta make sure he doesn't leave the wedding. And some sparkly golden tights. What in the heck are they putting on her foot? Those look like giant cement blocks. Oh, actually, I think they're shoes. Giant cement block shoes? How are you supposed to walk in those, Priya? It's like she's wearing two loaves of my mom's bread underneath her feet. And believe me, those things are hard and heavy. At least they're Chanel, though. What are they doing to her eyes? They're making them even bigger than they were before. And big, long eyelashes that... Kinda look like spider legs! Oh no, not this again. Ah, Priya! Where are your eyebrows going? Wait, what is that going over her eyes? D and G? Wait, what are they trying to do there? Oh, they're sunglasses! Dolce and Gabbana sunglasses! Fancy! Okay, let's see the final transformation! <gasps> wow! Priya turned into a rich girl princess! Or bride, to be determined? I give this one an 8.5 out of 10! Priya looks stunning, but she definitely ain't ready to get married! I forbid you! Oh, hey, Miriam! Long time no see! I see you're with your other gal pals having a good time! Ooh! We're bringing in some instruments! Priya on the drums! Miriam on the guitar! Happy on the... What is that? Oh, I guess a different kind of guitar! And May May on the vocals! Y'all think she can still be a singer if she's a panda? Comment down below and tell me what you think! Ah, May May! What's going on with your hair? It's like a purple mohawk, but you kind of just remind me of a girl version of Sonic. But creepier! And a lot more angry looking. Oh man, it's not just your hair. Your whole clothes are changing. You have leather on leather on leather. Kind of like a rocker chick. Whoa, look at those big chunky shoes with the spikes on top. And the pitch black sunglasses while she's inside. Kind of bougie, but okay. <laughs> Miriam has really tight skinny jeans. But they're not even jeans, they're leather. Skinny leather spandex tights? Oh no. Oh gosh, what are they doing to Abby now? They're giving her a cool denim jacket and trading in her sweatpants for... Ripped jeans? Did you rip those yourselves? Or do you get into a fight with a bear? Because both are not very good options. <laughs> Look at Abby's hair. It looks like the top of a skunk's tail. But hopefully less smellier. Ugh. Oh man, what are they gonna do to Priya? She's holding up her hands like this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Tell me those are just drawings on her arms and they're not giant sleeve tattoos. Phew, thank gosh, it's just, it's just a top. Wow, look at the final transformation! May May and her friends turned into a rock metal band! Called Four Metal? I like that being Four Town. Judge, judge, I call a lawsuit. I give this one a 9 out of 10. I love the rocker chick vibe. But I'll only give you that extra point when your band collabs with Four Town. Oh, May May is back in for seconds. I guess she wasn't satisfied with her first go up. She had to be greedy and get a second one. And she's in a Louis Vuitton swimsuit? But it's gone already. Just 
suspicious. Tiny denim shorts that also seem ripped. Rope around her stomach. Uh, May May girl, we sure that's safe? What are they putting on her legs? Wow, are those giant pink socks? And they're fluffy! Just like the red panda in the movie. But these ones are black, not red. Kind of disappointed, but it's still cool. Chunky black heels. Looking stylish. Whoa, they even added cheetah print to it. And what are they adding to her arms? <gasps> okay, they're like big black gloves. Her arms kind of look like Catwoman. Oh, those are the coolest glasses I have ever seen. Are those green like a tree or are they actually just lizard skin? Ugh. Oh my gosh, Mei Mei. What happened to your hair? You said bubblegum pink. Yes, please. And a pink bow on top. Wait a second, family. Why does she kind of remind me of me a couple months ago? We're like twins! Except she's a rich twin and I'm a... Uh, baby peanut twin? Chicken nugget twin? Non-panda transforming twin! Oh, man, that last one made me sound lame. I wish I could turn into a panda. But my mama won't let me. She ruins everything. <sighs> okay, let's see the final transformation! Whoa! Mimi transformed into a whole new person! Is she a rich girl or is she about to go party at a rave? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, family. Forgot the video wasn't over. I give this one a 9.5 out of 10. I love her pink hair! But just because I don't know if her sunglasses have real snake skin on them, I gotta dock you a point. I can't have those snakes coming after me! They might be poisonous! Mei Mei, you're back for another glow up transformation! Jeez, girl! You shape shifting just as much as Camillo from Encanto! And that's a lot! Oh, we're adding more red flowy clothes! Or should I say, taking away some extra clothes? Because ah! her outfits look a spicy! What does that say? Bad. <gasps> Bad girl! It says, bad girl, bad girl, bad girl, bad girl. Like, girl, we get it. You a baddie. Nobody's trying to fight that. Oh, and the snap open pants on the side. What? Not only is it a stylish jumpsuit, it's a stylish Gucci tracksuit. That makes it extra cool. And expansive. Oh, yeah, I forgot she's rich. Her buying a Gucci tracksuit is probably the same as us buying a glass of milk at the store. We got money, honey. And really bright. My pink lips. They cute. Whoa, I love her shiny blush. So cute. <gasps> and green sunglasses. Okay, actually, this is one of my favorite looks so far. Let's look at the final transformation. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love this one so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I like her earrings too. I want this exact outfit. Somebody find this for me. I'll pay any amount of dollar. Well, uh. Actually, last time I checked my bank account, I had like three and a half peanuts in there. Is that enough? I rate this one a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 out of 10. I think it's so cool, so stylish, and so out of my price range. Oh! Family, it is time for the secret footage of today's episode. This is the characters of Turning Red mixed with the characters of Encanto, and they're singing together. Take a look. <gasps> It's May May and Miriam! And they're in Encanto? They're singing the song from Encanto! <laughs> oh! It's Camillo! Singing the Four Town music! Oh, this is cool! <laughs> the crowd is going crazy for him! Oh, he is a natural! <laughs> Isabella turned into the red panda? How did this happen? But I like it, let's continue. I love this so much. 
What's with her? What's with your face? <gasps> <laughs> Camilla went from this to huh? Real quick. Bro, I think you got owned. Family, today we're gonna be looking at Sonic 2 characters blowing up into zombies. Oh, hey, Sonic. What up, dude? Family, Sonic doesn't look spooky. Maybe he's just here to be happy and nice and play with us. I love the color of Sonic's blue hair. Oh, what the? Are they giving him black eyeliner? Oh, oh. Uh, why are his eyes shiny bright red now? And what's in the middle of his forehead? Is that a third eye or just a green olive? I'm really hoping for the olive. I like my salty snacks. And apparently Sonic does too. Okay, we're giving Sonic a bigger mouth now, I think? With some pearly white teeth and... <gasps> His teeth are all pointy! Sonic's teeth are turning into vampire teeth! Ready to suck blood! But I didn't know that vampires have that many teeth! But he's got a full mouth of... <laughs> chompers! I hope he doesn't eat us. Because I can assure you that I am not tasty! I don't know about you, family. You speak for yourself. But as my mommy likes to call me, I am Sour. And sometimes a little bit salty. But I don't know if she was talking about how I taste or just my personality. Ooh. Ah, they're making his eyes all green and... Ah, what's happening to Sonic's ribcage? His stomach is disappearing and now all we can see is his bones. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Sonic really is turning into a zombie. I knew his cute face at the beginning was too good to be true. Family, comment down below zombie Sonic as a secret word of today's video. And I'll heart your comment. Whoa, look at the black claws coming out of his hands. And a lot of red ketchup. We think that's red ketchup, right, family? Oh, man, I thought so. And look at the claws now on his feet, too. And his bones are showing from his legs. Oh. Okay, family, let's see the final reveal. Oh. Ah! Sonic glowed up into a zombie. And now I guess there's no turning back. You drink blood one time and boom! This is what happens to you. Let that be a warning for any of you weirdos. Just saying. I rate this Sonic zombie a... Uh, two out of ten? I really love Sonic, but I can't stop staring at the bloody olive in the middle of his face. Kind of still want to eat it, though. By the way, family, each one of these glow-up transformations gets spookier and spookier each time. And then at the very end of today's video, it's going to be the spookiest glow-up transformation that you have ever seen. Oh, I'm not too sure I'm ready for that. But I definitely want to see it. Tails! Oh, he's so cute. His little yellow body that's kind of like a banana or also kind of like the sunshine. <gasps> uh, what happened to his eyes? Why does it look like the soul's been taken out of them? And does he have a bite mark in his ear? That thing looks a little broken. Either that or a worm got through it just like they go through apples. You know when you find them sometimes with a hole on the inside? You take a juicy bite and... Oh, hey, Mr. Worm. I should send you to jail for robbery of my apple. Rude. Even though Tails looks a little spooky right now, at least he got his beautiful, cute smile. Aw, they made his smile even bigger. And pointier and more teethier. Ah, and more juicier because... Look at all the ketchup around there. Oh, are we kidding, family? That ain't ketchup from a juicy McDonald's hamburger. That's ketchup from people's bodies. You know, like blood. That thing tail's been thirsty. He even has a scratch on his head that kind of looks like Harry Potter's. I guess that scratch on his forehead's more common than we thought. Ah, what are they doing to his stomach? I mean, I understand his stomach was getting a little big and maybe running out of space. But that don't mean we can make room by making a hole in it. Because that thing is on display like an object behind see-through glass. And I don't want to see it. Kind of looks red like lava. You don't think it's hot to the touch? Just kidding, family. Do not try. Because you might get burned. Tails, what happened to your leg? It's broken, but not the bone part. The skin part. Huh. Well, I guess that's kind of new. No, not the tails. They're taking away tails, tails. Oh, actually, 
Just kidding. I think they just put more ketchup on it. Still kind of rude, though. And now on his foot, too. And his other foot. Those once shiny white shoes are now dirty like some... Dirt! Uh, JK? Because I guess I just ripped off his whole shoe entirely. His little spiky toes are pointing out. What are they drawing in Tails' hand? Oh, it's something pretty and blue. Maybe they're giving Tails a beautiful blue purse. I like it. Oh, oh, oh. Tails is holding Sonic's head. And I think he ripped it off his body. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Tails, you're supposed to be the cute and nice one. Not the one who oofs people. That's taking it too far. And Sonic's supposed to be your friend, too. Whatever happened to the bro code? I guess you broke that the same day that you broke your leg. That's unfortunate. Ah, and Sonic's head is cracked open and has some stitches on it. And he's even drooling too. Ugh. I mean, Sonic, I get you lost your head, but you really gotta drool. Okay, let's see the final reveal. Whoa! That looks crazy! They're even in a really spooky forest too. And it looks like it's 3 a.m. I told you, family, nothing good happens in this world after 3 a.m. Nothing! Not even if your mommy asked you to go get late night ice cream. It'll probably taste terrible and melt in the car on the way home before you get to eat it. Cause it'll be cursed, duh. I rate Tails and Sonic's head. A 7.5 out of 10. Tails gets the 7 and... Sonic's head gets the 0.5. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. How scary did you think the last transformation was, family? Because this one, uh... Yeah, like I said, it's gonna get scarier. Ah, Knuckles has one cursed eye. What about the other one? <laughs> I guess they got a little cheap and couldn't buy two. So they got the value pick and just got one instead. I mean, I can't blame them. Who doesn't like to save Moolah? I do. But maybe they went a little too cheap, family, because look at what's goofing out of his eye. It's like some weird red kind of slime that... <laughs> Probably don't want to be touching. That is the one time I would say no to raspberry jam. Cause that looks cursed. Oh, and look what's coming out of his mouth. More strawberry jam. But I don't think that jam tastes sweet, family. I think it's probably just a little smelly instead. They made a giant hole in Knuckles' stomach. And what is coming out of it? Is that a giant green tongue? Oh, cause that's really what it looks like. And more strawberry jam on top. Wait a second, if a tongue is coming out of Knuckles' stomach, then does that mean there's a monster growing inside of him? And now Knuckles' knuckles are turning black. Oh, man. And shiny, too. Oh, Knuckles' leg shows the bone. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening to Knuckles' head? Whoa, 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 hold on there. What, what's going on? Why does it look like there's a giant cut through his head? And some really big stitches to keep his head in place. Something must have sliced Knuckles' head in two. And now he has to glue it back together. Wait, what? <laughs> Knuckles has Lego pieces on his feet. <gasps> Wait a second. I've never seen Lego pieces with spikes coming out of them. You think those are what cracked his head open? Because if you've ever stepped on a piece of Lego, you would know. That's painful. Okay, we got a blue. Oh, a blue purse again. Oh, no, wait. That wasn't a blue purse. That was Sonic's head with tails. <gasps> and now again with Knuckles. This is some new fashion trend I'm not aware of. Holding people's heads in your arms just like you'd wear a Louis Vuitton purse. That's just weird. Knuckles, you are a twisted dude for doing that. All right, let's see the final transformation. Oh, man. Just as I suspected. Very. And again, still sweet from the strawberry jam. But sucks because I'm not going to give you a sweet rating because I give you a five out of ten. I don't like the idea of wearing your friend head as a fashion statement. And I also think you could have used more props other than just strawberry jam. Like, come on, dude, let's get creative. You know what I mean? Ooh, it's Amy now. Amy is not in the Sonic 2 movie, but I think she's gonna appear in the next one. If you don't know who Amy is, she's like Sonic's friend, but she's also kind of secretly in love with him, but... 
It's a secret, family. Don't tell Sonic. Wow. Look at her eyes. It looks like she's wearing a VR mask. <laughs> she looks silly. Oh, she got her ears bitten off too. No, not her pretty red dress. Why you gotta go for the dress? It's probably designer. This dress expensive. Wait, what they just put on her head? Is that some weird like hair clip or something? It kind of looks like a pink squishy ball. Is that a really weird looking piece of Hubba Bubba taped to her forehead? Because <laughs> it looks funny. What? Now they're even taking away Amy's pretty boots too and changing it for weird dinosaur looking feet. Uh, newsflash, Mr. Artist, sir. Dinosaurs have been extinct for years. More like hundreds of years. You're a little late to the party. Well, at least we know if Amy ever goes swimming, she has her own personal flutter shoes because those feet are webbed. Ah, Amy has spikes growing out of her arm. They're pretty much turning Amy into a cactus. That's not cool. Wait, what is she holding now? <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Why is she holding that? I do not like that she's holding that. And she's pointing it at Sonic. Uh-oh. This might end badly. Let's see the final reveal. <gasps> Whoa. This is definitely the spookiest one so far. And I think it's because Amy's about to oof Sonic. Oh, man. Somebody tell the popo Before it's too late. I rate Sonic and Amy an 8.1 out of 10. Sonic gets the 8 and Amy... Amy gets the point one. Because I know what you're about to do with that knife, girl, and I don't like it. Family, I don't know if you're ready for this next glow-up transformation. It is really creepy and really spooky and really creepy and did I mention really spooky? Yeah, we gotta just see it. But good luck. Oh, man. I don't think I'm ready for this one. Oh, Sonic already has really spooky green glowing eyes. Kind of like me. But y'all never saw that before, huh? And a really leaky mouth. Okay. And two giant cuts on his head. Wait a second. What's that above the two cuts on his head? <gasps> Sonic's brain is coming out of his head. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Somebody should really call a doctor because if that happens, then his heart might stop working. <gasps> no. Sonic is holding a human heart. Sonic. What the heck you doing that for, dude? And better question, whose heart is that? Like, Seriously, it's really hard to get a hold of those things. I'm very suspicious. Wait a second. Why are you pointing at me, Sonic? Are you saying you stole my heart? Uh, I think it's still there. So you probably got the wrong girl. Why did you steal someone's heart in the first place? That's not cool. Go return it because until then, I'm mad at you, Sonic. I know you don't get your money back for returning a heart. You never bought it in the first place. Yo, weirdo. Hey, we got some pointy bear looking shoes. Maybe Sonic's ready for a camping trip. And it looks like he spray painted himself with some red paint. Wait, what's coming out of his hair? What is that? Sonic snakes coming out of his hair or an octopus arm or some really sharp wooden spears i think those are meant to hurt people with sonic man again that's not nice <gasps> and he's standing in a pool of blood okay let's see the final reveal family <gasps> this one. I do not like this one at all, and I know he's pointing at me, but Sonic, I'm pointing at you, and I say you're a bad person. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Vacuum up that pool of blood you're standing in and suck those snakes back in your head, and then we'll have a conversation. Until then, I give you a 4 out of 10. Case closed. And no, I'm not looking at you. I'm too mad. Today, we're going to be looking at Encanto characters glowing up into models. Ooh. Oh, we got Isabella and Dolores. Wow. Um, where'd their clothes go? Oh, phew. They came back on in the form of a really beautiful pink dress. Dolores, Dolores. I know your whole thing is that you can hear real good. But girl, put on your glasses because you're going to want to see this outfit. Oh, beautiful. And now Isabella's getting a matching one in blue. These dresses are so fancy. Do you think they're going to prom? But to go to prom, don't you kind of need a date? <laughs>
<laughs> I'm just kidding, family. You don't need a date to go to prom. I went to prom and you know who I took? My puppy Peaches. Yeah, uh -huh. true story, true story. It was a smelly and slobbery time. Ooh. Make sure to watch to the very end of today's episode for a secret video of the Encanto and turning red characters glowing up together in the same video. Little hint for you. Poor town visited La Casita. Oh! Wow! Look at all the sparkles and diamonds! They don't just look like they're worth a million bucks! Those dresses probably are! But maybe they'll let us buy them on Amazon for cheaper. Oh, and Isabella has butterfly shoes! And pretty pink and blue nails! <gasps> Was that a diamond ring that saw in Isabella's hand? Is she still married to Mariano? Because I thought your sister kind of stole them from you. Oh. Oopsies! Was I not supposed to say that? A little awkward now, isn't it? And now we're doing the hairstyles! Does Dolores have a bag over top of her head? Ramen noodles on top of her hair? Oh, she just got a really voluminous hairstyle with really curly strands. I like it! But not as much as those diamond earrings and diamond necklaces. Because I like things I see. My jewelry, my drinks, and my personality. Oh. I guess that means I'm kind of rude then. Family, comment down below model Mirabelle as a secret word of today's video and I'll heart your comment. What is that going on top of Isabella's head? Is that a bird's nest on there? Cause that looks like a whole plant. Oh, they're turning Isabella's eyes pink and blue to match her dress. Now that is dedication. And also a big commitment because I don't think you can go back from an eye tattoo. Okay, the final reveal family is here. Let's see the results. Wow! The sisters look like supermodels! Prada Gucci who? They're the real designers. Oh! 8 out of 10 stars for the girls. Because they look so, 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 so stunning. But they didn't share their diamonds with me. So negative 2 points. Oh, hey, Mimi! Ready to turn up into a model. Uh, Miramel, I said model. Not baby swaddle. I don't know if those checkers are doing it for you. A red sparkly mini skirt. Ooh, with some labeling tag stuff on there. What's it say? Oh, it says label. Label me? I am label. Huh? I'm confused. Uh, what's that on her legs? Is that something to hold something on her thigh? That kind of looks like something the Popo would wear. Oh no, Mirabelle. Maybe she's not turning into a model. She's turning into a police officer. Hopefully she's nice. I'm not breaking the law, Mirabelle, I promise. But the family, I don't know. I can't speak for them. Oh man, she's already mad at us for being bad. Look at those eyebrows. They're looking kind of mean or kind of... Actually, pretty. Oh, their shiny eyeshadow and her floppy eyelashes. But I don't know about that smile, family. It's looking a little sus. All crooked and kind of fake looking. Seems like she might be hiding something. Oh, they're taking away Mirabelle's hair. <gasps> Mirabelle now has blonde hair. How could this be? She even has gold strands coming through it. And a fancy pearl Chanel necklace. And obviously if she's becoming a police officer, she got to have a weapon. Her sharp long nails. Okay, let's see the reveal, family. Let's see the reveal. <gasps> Whoa! Mirabelle looks like the most stylish girl I've ever seen. And she also kind of looks like she might bully me in the schoolyard. So maybe I'll be nice. Nine out of ten stars for trendy Mirabelle. Probably would have scored her a little bit lower. But just in case she's a real police officer. I don't want to get in trouble. Family, don't forget to watch to the very end of today's video to see the members of Fort Town from Turning Red have a concert at La Casita in Encanto. Ooh. Camillo? I didn't know you wanted to be a model too, bro. No way. Bye-bye, Poncho. Oh, oh, fancy leather jacket. Okay. And he's going for a bold look with that red tee. Ah, it has a tiger on it. That was kind of scary. But ah, where does hair go? Oh, he snip, snip, snipped it all off. And he swapped his tight curls for some slicked back gel. Book life money sign, money sign. <laughs> oh, Camillo's not just turning into a model. He's turning into a bad boy. Uh-oh, nobody tell Abuela. Okay, let's see the final look. <gasps> Whoa. He looks like someone who might own a motorcycle. Or maybe steal 
steal your money in a dark alleyway. Camille will get the 7 out of 10. Yeah, just that. You right. All right, I just got nothing else to say. Dolores is here. And whoa. Emily, where'd she go? I can't see her. Oh. It's just because she's wearing a camouflage bikini. Sneaky. Spider legs has eyelashes. Oh. Kind of odd start. It's almost like Dolores is turning into mommy long legs. What are they drawing on her dress? There are a bunch of loops and they're all different colors. Dolores' dress is made from a giant bag of fruit loops. Or, uh, mm -mm. Actually, maybe not. I was really hoping so. Mm -hmm. That'd be so much cooler. Look how shiny it is, though. <gasps> okay, the loops just got bigger, and nobody can tell me that those aren't fruit loops. Drip a little milk on there, and you got yourself a delicious breakfast. Whoa, I love those polka dot socks. They're so cute. Add on a pop of yellow color with the heels. And now she's kind of looking like Tweety Bird. I heard Tweety loves Fruit Loops too. Uh, why does the top of Dolores' head look like a blue smurf? Or Huggy Wuggy's armpit hair when it gets too long? Because that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Whoa, it actually looks really good now. Dolores' hair looks like a mermaid. It's so beautiful. Dolores is looking like a really high-end fat fashion model who's wearing the craziest clothes that you've never seen before. And normal people would probably be too scared to pull it off, but Dolores is out here just rocking it. Props to you, Dolores. I'm proud of you. Who cares if other people call you an odd-looking fluffy peacock? What matters is if you like it. But I might be careful with just how shiny your outfit is. You might blind a couple old people. You know, their eyes are pretty sensitive, you know? Grandma and Grandpa will take one look at you and think that they were looking up into heaven. But don't worry, Gramps, you ain't oofing just yet. Well, that is if the brightness of the dress doesn't oof you first. Ooh. Why do you want to become a model, dude? You literally live in a hole in the wall in a cave. I don't know who you trying to look good for. Because if it's your rats, that's just kind of sad. <gasps> Where did all of Bruno's hair go? Wait, it was there and then it was gone and now it's back. But it's shorter now. I'm confused. Bye-bye, green poncho. Hello? Vest and a tie and a long sleeve? Hmm. I mean, I guess the vest is nice and you're probably going for a Calvin Klein model vibe. But to be honest, you kind of just look like a dude who would try and sell me some weird type of candy. Or a broken car. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, family. I hate it. Negative three for you, Bruno. And ask me being generous. Dolores, why are your big eyes staring at me like that, girl? You're kind of making me nervous. <sighs> They're taking away her hair. And it looks gray and old like a grandma. I don't know. Are they turning Dolores into an old lady? Because, uh, I love old people. <laughs> Oh, they're giving her red and blue highlights on the bottom. And cute short bangs in the front. Wait a second, family. She kind of looks like somebody that I might know. Maybe somebody from a superhero slash villain story. Somebody that lots of people are for Halloween as a costume. Somebody's name that rhymes with Barley Lynn. Family Dolores is turning into Harley. Queen. Oh man, does that make her a super villain? Or kind of a superhero, right? Because she's kind of both. It's like, Harley, make up your mind. First you have red hair, then you have blue hair. It's like, girl, pick one. People who wear one of each color thing are just weird. Ooh. That's kind of awkward. Maybe I'm Harley Quinn. Oh, she's looking so good. Look at her shiny red and blue jacket. I don't think Dolores is disguised as Harley Quinn. I think she's the real thing. Whoa. She looks mysterious. I give Harley Quinn a 9.5 out of 10. No, I give her a 9 out of 10. No, or maybe an 8 out of 10 or a 9.7. Yeah. I can't make up my mind, family. Clearly, I do that a lot. Maybe I want pink. Maybe I want orange. Maybe I'm Harley Quinn. Maybe I'm not. Oh, Harley. Me and you aren't too much different. <laughs> family, it is time for the secret video of the four town characters glowing up inside of La Casita with the characters of Encanto. Oh, it's La Casita. And Isabella swinging from 
from a vine and Louisa on the ground ready to pick up some heavy stuff. Wow, what are they drawing? It's like giant grasses growing over the casita. Is that good or bad? What does that say in flowers? For... <gasps> Four town! Like the band from Turning Red! Oh! Why did it just get really dark in here? I can't see very well! <gasps> it's the stage from Four Town! Look at all the people in the audience! You think they're waiting for a show? But the real question is, who's gonna be the singers? Well, they wrote out Encanto 2022. Oh, look, it's May May and all her friends! When they were crying at the concert. They were even bringing in the characters from Luca? Dude, everybody's here! It's a party! Hey, 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 hey! Well, uh, hmm. Nobody is performing yet. Oh, hey, Mirabel. Nothing to see here just yet. Still an empty stage. Even Bruno! And he showed up with a bucket on top of his head. Kind of rude to do at a concert, but okay. <gasps> crazy. <laughs> they all look super silly singing with their hands up and their mouths open. This whole concert is happening at La Casita of the Madrigals. I guess the Four Town Tour decided to stop in Colombia. Everyone looks so happy to be there. They're having the best time ever. You want it? I want it. You want it? I want it. <laughs> I guess I'll calm down now. You're supposed to get crazy. Oopsies. If you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.